It's a bird! It's a plane! It's the Revenger! What the fuck is a Revenger? Not the superhero I think we need and or want. Yeah. What up, YouTube? Welcome to Between Two Beards. I'm Justin, aka Dub. I'm Ryan. And today we're doing the full review of the new Revenger kit from Vapresso. Vapresso. And um, as I just said, it's really not the superhero I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, um, obviously we're going to save our thoughts for the end, but uh, <sighs> yeah. Is it bad? No. no. Is it amazing? No. But no. we're going to dive down. I'm going to show you a couple of the things that we really don't like about it. And uh, this is kind of like that third or fourth girl you had to ask to prom. She, she, she wasn't got your the job first done. choice. Yeah, she got the job done. But it's <laughs> not like you had to scrape the bottle of the barrel and, and go to Fat Nancy and be like, You want to go to prom with me? Sure, you bring in steak. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just saying. But let, let's get inside of it, guys. All right, be right back. All right, guys, here's a real click up close with the Revenger kit from Vapresso. Again, in the first look, we did all the unboxing and everything, so we're going to skip over all that. Um, yeah, I mean overall, very attractive mod. It's it's kind of it's really really small. It's very, you know, very compact in the hand um, overall. But I just want to dive into a couple of the uh, of the menu functions here. Um, I like the screen layout. You've got your battery meter, your uh, your mode you're in. I'm in normal mode right now. Um, up here you have your resistance and then your applied voltage, and then here's your wattage and a timer. No puff counter. That's the one thing they got right on this. Um, you have your up and down and then your mode button there in the middle. Um, the up and down buttons are nice and clicky. Um, I love the mode button, I do. If you wanna go from wattage to like temp control, just hold that down for a couple seconds, then bam, there you go. Now we're in stainless steel, now we're in nickel, now we're in titanium, now we're in memory one, memory two, then there's a bypass mode, which bypasses the regulation of the mod and makes it more or less like an unregulated box mod. Um, it's just drawing power straight off the batteries. And then you can go in here and go to system set, click this three times, and then that brings you into your actual menu. I don't know if we're going to, yeah, there we go. Um, in here you've got your, uh, your variable wattage mode is the very first one, your variable temperature mode. You can set the clock. I have the clocks turned off because as I've mentioned in other videos with clocks, I don't see the point. Um, you can set everything back to, to default. Um, you've got the smart mode where I believe it actually will read the coil and set things to where it thinks it should be. Um, you can set how long the, the screen is on itself and then there's an exit. If we go to variable wattage mode, hold down on that button, then you can choose here your normal, um, powerful and soft mode or high mode, I guess is what it's called. I'm going to go to normal. Um, and then you go back up to exit and there we go. And then hold that one more time. Now we're back to um, to wattage mode. Uh, my biggest drawback to this mod is the menu system. Now, if all you're doing is going between the different modes, it's not a big deal. Because all you do is hold down that button, it switches, blah, 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 yada, yada. If you want to make any tweaks, so let's say we go into stainless steel or temp control mode here. Now we can control our temperature. But the only way you can control the wattage in this mode is if we go all the way back through here get back into where it says system set we got to then hit this three times go down to variable temperature mode hold this down and this is where we set our wattage for temp control then we go back out of this and then we got to go back down to exit and then we have to cycle through to the temp control we wanted again so now i'm at 80 watts 400 degrees that to me is absolutely horrendous. This is one of the worst menu systems I've ever personally used. Again, 
if you're someone like us where all we use is, is uh, power mode, wattage mode, we don't mess with the temp control, that's fine. It's not a big deal, just scroll through them. But if you do use temp control and you wanna you wanna change anything, it's it's just a humongous pain in the ass. Um, but overall, moving around the mod, um, the screen is an absolute fingerprint magnet, and as you can see right here in the light a little bit, it is just scratching like you can't even believe. Um, which that's a that's a pretty big drawback is the just how easy this I'm pretty sure this material this is made out of was supposed to not scratch really easily But this is it's it's pretty bad, but other than that everything else finish wise is holding up quite nice um, The screens the only issue I'm having at all with the finish um, And then obviously you've got the NRG tank up up top which again in the first look I said I'm gonna call this the energy tank because that just makes more sense to me um, we went over you know all the basic stuff in the in the first look but you've got your your super easy to use top fill system there which is just just amazing if the camera would focus on that um but uh but yeah this is not the stock drip tip the drip tip that comes on this thing is horrendous and just deserves to be thrown in the trash as soon as you open the box um but other than that i think we're gonna go ahead and jump back out and talk about it for a few minutes all right guys that was the up close of the revenger um, so we're going to dive right into pros and cons, guys. There's not a lot of dwelling that has to go yeah. on with this mod. Uh, biggest pros for me, I love the way it looks. Aesthetically, this thing is great. Uh, I love the retro early 2000s flip phone it, look. It I mean, literally looks like... You could change yeah. Vapresso and put, like, the key like, on there, and I would not... <laughs> right. But, uh, but no, anyway, yeah, I love the way it looks. The finish is great. The blue is beautiful. Um... I, I, I like the screen. I like the layout of the screen. There's not a lot of vape bloatware or whatever. No. Um, the information I want and need is on the screen at the same time, and it's great. Uh, the buttons are great. Again, like I said in the first look, the weird thing is, is like the buttons are kind of rattly if you do this, but if you shake it, there's no button rattle at all. And, not the, and the button's um, not exact, and maybe because it curves on the side there, the button almost feels more like a light switch than it bit, does a yeah. button light. It's, it's, it's an you gotta kind of like push up on it a little bit. It's so. definitely an interesting button. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it clicks well. The battery door fits beautifully. Fit and finish on the whole thing is great. Um, it functions and it functions well. It does its job as a, as a mod. It I does. Mean, it, it, it does. It's, it's a great mod. You know, it does 220 watts, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, but I don't know. Like, like I said, I mean, there's there's a lot of pros. You know, it's, it, it is a great mod. It's a nice feel in the hand. Unfortunately for me, as I've said so many times, it's a little small. I have big hands. It's a little small for me. Um, That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to like the compact, you know, dual battery mods, this, is this one's on the small side for sure. Yeah. I prefer like the Chaos. Isn't much bigger, but actually, it's pretty it's much no bigger at all. But I just like the way this feels. I think it's a little wider. And um, it just, I don't know. If you're, I don't know. There's just something about the way that that is curved. Yeah, it's, that it's, it, it feels a little hollow in the hand almost. Yeah, I love the centered. 510. I like the look of the centered 510. The only bad thing is with the tank on it and everything, it just has a weird like it, wobbly. It falls over yeah, all it falls over. I all actually the time. put two cushions and a little cup holder like thing in my rig, right, right. Like, just so it wouldn't keep falling over. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just dive into some cons that I have with it. Um, like I said, uh, probably one of the biggest problems that I have with this is. It's it's a fingerprint magnet from hell. Oh, it's bad. And and and, <laughs> I, bad. and you can already see where it's the screen. It's not the worst screen for scratches. No, but it's you, it, it, you're going like to get crazy. scratches on yeah. this mod. Um, I do like the tank. I do like the tank. However, we have some cons with the tank. The tank is. In my opinion, it's like a better version of the Big Baby in that it uses the same coils and everything. The top fill is amazing. That is my biggest pro with the tank is I love the top fill compared top to the... Top fill is amazing. The problem we have with this tank, and we just had the issue earlier when we were yeah. trying to set up for the video and change the coil out and stuff, this thing vapor locks like nothing I've ever had before yeah. and never is, tried before. And I'm not, and we're not like cranking the fucker Yeah, we're not down. cranking the base on, you but know. after a few days of that coil being in there, it is almost impossible. Right. I, I really honestly was afraid that I was going to just shatter the tank trying to take the base off. Um, that... 
that is the only con I have to the tank is that. Everything else with um, the tank is, is great. Yeah, no, the tank's great. The drip tip it comes with, as you'll notice, this is not the drip tip it's it comes with. The, the, babe, the drip babe. tip it comes with is horrible. That thing is just, oh my god. <laughs> Anybody that buys this, my first recommendation is to pull the drip tip off, throw it in the trash. Like I said, the tank's one. nice. It vapes well. If you've ever vaped the big baby from Smock, it vapes almost identically. Almost identically. Um, it has a little bit more wide open airflow, just the smite, yeah. just the smallest little um, bit. It is nice that it is so com that it's compatible with the baby yep. the baby beast coils. This is a baby beast coil um, right now. I don't have any more because of the they're a little bit more ones. available yeah. than the baby presso coils. Not to mention, if you put the big baby or the, I'm sorry, I say the big baby, the baby beast coil in there, you actually get like an additional like half or a mil of juice. It's probably like capacity. somewhere around a quarter to a half a mil of juice. Yeah, the so are a little bit small. You get a little bit more than five mils, which is pretty standard. Anyway. Now, as far as the the coils that come with the tank, if anybody's curious, they are basically the exact same as the baby beast coils. But it's they're stainless steel instead of I'm assuming can't It didn't last long. It did. It lasted. It like did not last long. Three, two, three days at the most. I, I might have got sixty mils through it. And I it yeah. It, but um, I mean the tank is good, and I think that the tank in my opinion, I'm more excited. I was more excited <laughs> about the tank. Yeah. Than the mod. If if you guys just are looking for a decent sub ohm tank and you can find this by itself, I would recommend that all day long. Yeah. Like I said, um, the finish on that thing's great. Another, and I should have said this was probably my biggest con. The menu, the menu system, system is atrocious. Of this mod is unnecessarily oh. just horrible. It's now on on that. If all you're doing is switching between the modes, if all you're doing is going from power to temp control to bypass mode, no problem. You just hold the mode button down for a couple seconds. It cycles through. It's that's about as easy as it gets. If, however, you want to fine tune any of the menu functions as far as like your, your actual wattage in your temperature mode, mode, all that it's, is very, it's a nightmare. Yeah. I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they designed this 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 board as far as the menu functions go. Again, if all you're doing is changing between the modes, no it's big not, deal. It's not bad. Um, but if if you're in, let's say you go to stainless steel temp control and and you're happy with the temperature, but you want to up the wattage a little bit or take the wattage down a little bit, there's like 14 steps you got to go through to get to that. And we don't use temp control, so that's not really a big drawback to me. But for the just all people that Why like temp you control, ask? because temp control sucks balls. Temp control sucks ass. Um. But uh, but yeah, that that's kind of a con for me. Just be, again, it doesn't really affect me personally, but I know there's plenty of people out there that it will because there's people that do like temp control, right? And it's a nightmare just to change the wattage, and that's all we're talking about is even just to change the wattage and temp control. If you're like us and you stick strictly to power mode, it's not a big deal. Yeah, not a big not, deal at all. It's just the fact that they made the switch between modes so easy, but yet everything else had to be so goddamn cryptic it's right. like dude I, I it wasn't this hard to decipher what king tut's tomb said you know what I mean? <laughs> right. it's like what the right, fuck right right um yeah. i i would like i i think i i'm gonna get right in because that's basically all the pros and cons yeah, for I mean, me. yeah um am i gonna recommend this tank to somebody yeah, I have no issues recommending it to somebody yeah. if they like the mod yeah. if they if they don't like the mod then don't buy me personally I, I have no... It gets a pass. Yeah. I it gets a pass, a pass for me. It's just not... I was expecting a lot more from it. Yeah. And I didn't get that. I, so... I almost... If it was just a little bit wider, just a little bit... And I'm not talking like actual this way. I'm talking this way. If it was just a little bit bigger, I would be a little bit more apt to be excited about it. Yeah. Um... I give it a pass again, like you said, all day long. If you're if you're looking for a starter kit, just a dual eighteen six fifty starter kit, and your options are down between the Predator kit, the Alien kit, and the Vaporesso kit, you tried the Alien, you hated the Alien, so you took that out, and you're between the Predator and this. And I'm going to recommend this all day long. Man, you really narrowed it I down. I have thought about this. Okay, I've thought <laughs> I, about I, this. I, I, I haven't had any issues with the mod. I haven't had any of the pulsing issues. I had no with Predator. And, and, the battery life yeah. is... We didn't mention battery life. Okay, so battery life on it's, this is it's lackluster. A, it's on the same plane as the I mean, Primo and the and the Predator yeah, and some of the other models. Not, it's not on the level of the Chaos or the Alien or I'm, the Mega 2, but I'm able to push with this tank, with the .15 coil in here right now, I've been vaping it like 45, 50 watts, somewhere in there. Um, in the up close, you see the wattage is set a little bit lower because this coil head was brand new before we started this video, and I just didn't want to fry it, but... Um, at that 45 to 50 watts is a good vape on this tank. The battery life, I'm able to squeeze like nine and a half hours of solid use, maybe 10 if I push it a little bit. Right, right. Um, so it's not terrible. Again, 
I think I think people are probably like, God, these guys in their fucking battery life, like ten hours isn't a big deal. That's great, right? right? But when you're at, when you do, I am driving sixty-five miles an hour. Right, right. I can't reach over wait, to wait, my wait, 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 sixty-five, man. You drive sixty-two. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. talking about downhill. <laughs> anyway, with a load on. It, you, we're not married to a battery charger. I can't, I can't, I can't go to my yeah. battery charger and grab another set of right, batteries right. and be like, oh yeah, no, we're good to go. Not, so I try to keep my battery life as long as I possibly can, and that's why I focus on that. Now, if you are literally hitched to a battery charger, then you don't have to worry about it. Right, you know what right. I mean? But yeah. like I said, that's why we, we concern ourselves with battery life. Like I said, on a five star scale for this, I'm gonna give this about a three. It's right there yeah. in the middle. Yeah. It's right there in the middle. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It is functional. It, it ranks right up there with the Battlestar from uh yeah, it's the Battle Star. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's a, a great device and it works one, fine. It's one, just not one thing something. I, one I thing I will do. say that I'm a. It's a little pricey. It's expensive. It's a little pricey. These kits are going anywhere. I got mine on eBay. It is real. It wasn't a clone. I made sure. Um, I think I paid seventy bucks for the kit. And I'm the seeing them seventy to eighty-five. To eighty to eighty-five dollars is what I'm seeing these so, online. Um, so it's a little pricey. It's a little pricey. Um, and I think like I would prefer to get like a, like a big baby or like an SC one tank separate and then get like a chaos mod. Something, I, I, yeah. Just I mean, something you, I, I think, think you could get a better there's, setup. There's better. There's but, better devices for the money, but. Overall, I agree with you. It's kind of just right there in the middle of the road. There's nothing inherently wrong with it, but the only other, there's nothing super like special about it either. I, I, I spent right at two weeks with this mod, and I don't really have anything to complain about. It worked good. The only thing I can say that I had an issue with twice. Yeah. I put it in my I put it in my pocket. Now I know a lot of people are gonna say, "Well, why did you put it in your pocket?" Because you know what, I'm a fucking human, right. and I don't have a fucking holster for everything. But I had it in my pocket at one point, and those buttons are very clicky. However, they are very raised against they're the. Protruded uh, they're protruded out quite a bit. They're protruded out quite a bit, and it did bump up the waters quite a bit. And I just, out of habit, didn't think about it. Took a hit, or right. <laughs> 180 watts, right, fried right. the brand right. new coil, right. and then it happened again was in my truck, and just that little bit of cushioning that I had, right. just it, enough to hit just enough, buttons. and it fried another coil. So just kind of keep that in mind. Yeah. These, these buttons but, are raised a lot, so if you do put your mod in your pocket, I definitely recommend turning it off first. So it is a pro, um, but it's also a con. Yeah, you know kinda. what I mean? It's, so, but like I said, guys, it gets a pass for me. Overall, I have no, I have no real beef with this mod. It's just not a mod that I particularly reach for on my right. way out the door. It's definitely, I would recommend it to anyone looking for a kit like this, and you don't mind a little bit higher price tag. Would I buy it again? Because this is mine. He hasn't even bought one. I don't think he's going to. <laughs> um, would I buy it again? Probably not. It's just, it's just one of those things where yeah, there's going to be no sucking dudes off in the alley to find one of these. Yeah, the it, it's just, all the shit. it's just there's better mods out. There's better mods coming out. And I don't want to say that there's better mods. It's just that for our taste, there's mods, the there's mods that I would work. reach for first yeah. before I grab yeah. that one. Like if I got like ten mods sitting in a row, right. I it's gonna be fairly easy to skip over that. Yeah. One. You know yeah. what I mean? That's all. Okay. Yeah. I mean, honestly, for the money, I would rather buy like my Chaos again um, or any number of things. I'd rather buy another drag mod before I'd rather I bought have, this again. I'd rather buy another T print. Yeah, something. I'd anyway, like, you know, we're, like we're, said, we're digressing. I don't want to dog the mod, guys. right? No. I really don't. It's there's just, it's absolutely not, nothing wrong with it. Yeah. There's just absolutely it gets a nothing pass. special about it. I, if you like the mod, if you've held one, you're like, oh, that's really cool. I gotta have that Nokia flip phone look. <laughs> right. Then this right. is the mod for you. Right. It's just not my particular. It's not. It's not the particular pussy that I want to eat that night. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, man, but. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, if you, you have any, like uh, pussy? I do. I okay, do. well then there if, you go. If you got any questions about it, if leave this in the was comments. Big Mama here and this is fucking, you know, who are you gonna go for? You I gonna, don't know. Mila Kunis, that is, I guess. Heather uh, Locklear, Heather be thy name. Heather Locklear. God, I haven't heard that name. In a while. I would still eat that ass and not think twice. Anyway, we're getting off topic. <laughs> this isn't in between two what we would eat pussy right, that night, right. you know. So if you guys, if you want to see that show, let us know and we'll try to. I don't think we can put that on YouTube. Why? We're already not getting paid right. for this. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Like the video, subscribe, hit yes. us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at in between two beards with the number two. If you guys um, want to get a hold of us professionally or want to drop us more of a personal line, our email is in between two beards at gmail.com. 
drop us a line. We're more than happy. We try to get back to everybody, reply to everybody we can. Try, try. Um, like I said, like I said, we're not doing this for a living quite yet, and we right. have a fucking day job. Still have so. a nine to five. Guys. Patience, but, people. But yeah, overall, pass. Pass. If, if you I'll, like the way it looks, you like the way it feels, go for it. I, I like. I like it. I just don't love it. Right. So. That's the best I can do. That that needs to be the tagline. The <laughs> revenge. You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. You're not gonna love it. It's, but uh, it's, it's 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 I don't I'm trying to think of another analogy. I'm it doesn't matter. Join us next time, guys. <laughs> Big ball. You're pretty? It is not damn pretty. pretty. Yes, it is. It is good. <laughs> it's a thing of mystical wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, that was the uh, up close. Let's redo that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, we're, not, we're on the same page.